Hi, this is Anna Hackman and the founder of Annalie Herbs. I want to show you what Russian tarragon looks like. Many people call Russian tarragon, French tarragon's ugly uh, cousin because its taste is pretty insignificant. But fresh, it's got a really nice, you know, slight anise taste, kind of very fresh, earthy. Uh, I think it would be great in salads. I've used it fresh as well in a potato salad in lieu of French tarragon because French tarragon, fresh, is very spicy. It's got a... Um, a very anise, a very strong anise taste. Uh, it numbs your mouth, and some people don't like that, and that's why they're probably used to dry tarragon, which is a much milder form of French tarragon. So it looks very similar um, in its growth habit. Uh, if French tarragon was allowed to, you know, a lot of French tarragon doesn't live to the second year, so um, it, at least that is in my zone, and it would get tall like this as well. This is pretty tall. This is, um, if you can see one back there, this one's at least three feet tall. They don't spread a lot. Maybe that's because also I cut them before they go to seed. Um, they don't. They're not a big spreader. They're tall and skinny. They're lanky. They have, as you can see, a very tiny flower that's going to be uh, showing pretty soon. I think the flowers are yellow. I've never let it get that far, but see how tall it is and lanky. And so I can understand why people think it looks weedy, but it really has a very nice smell. Um, as I mentioned, you know, it's it's really good to use fresh. Dry, it doesn't really have much. To me, it's kind of like using greens. It doesn't really have much to add to the flavor. Um, there are medicinal lores about Russian tarragon, that it shares similar properties to French tarragon. I'll put a link below about... Um, you know, uh, what people, what herbalists have said about Russian tarragon. So don't count it out. It is really easy to grow from seed, by the way. French tarragon, you have to propagate from a root or a cutting. Uh, Russian tarragon, you know, seed. I grew five of them, replanted them twice, and they're still growing strong. And this is them right here. And it's funny, I asked my friend, um, she came into the garden, and I said, taste this, taste this, and she tasted the Russian tarragon, and she tasted the French tarragon. She said, you know, I prefer the Russian tarragon more than the French tarragon. The French tarragon's a little too spicy and too anisey for me, and this is kind of mild and nice and sweet. And uh, so there you go, you know, everybody has different palates, so consider growing this. Like I said, you know, it kind of looks like your common variety weed, but it's not. It's, it's really delightful. It's got a really nice feathery structure to it. And it's among my echinacea, and I, I um, this is wild, kind of wild daisies. I forget the name of them. The, the name is escaping me, but it's kind of around there. I'm pulling out my oregano right now, so there's this big bare patch because the oregano spread everywhere. But this is Russian tarragon again. I'm just going to page down for you to see it. It's really pretty. So this is Anna Hackman uh, from Green Talk and Annalie Herbs, and... Um, I hope you enjoy my segment on unloved plants because uh, this is one of them. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video.